Hello, Mike here at Game from Scratch with some very cool news for indie developers interested in targeting the Xbox One console. Uh, if you have never heard of it, Microsoft is offering a program called Universal Windows Platform, UWP, that enables you to target your applications to run on Microsoft Store and on Xbox One. So basically, it was a uh, a way of you know being able to make games for the Xbox platform. And you can actually turn your own Xbox into a dev kit and do everything you want from home. Now, Microsoft has actually been very pioneering and frustrating with their approach to indie development. In some ways, they created the indie development movement uh, with the Xbox Live independent games, the launch of uh, XNA Studio, etc. in the original Xbox generation, at least the widespread um, development on console for indie gamers approach. Um, technically, Sony had the Net Yaruz a uh, number of years before, which was basically a, um, a PlayStation version for HomeKit developers, but it was a thousand bucks. So we're talking, um, you know, for the masses, Microsoft really kind of pioneered this market and then kind of disappeared from it. And UWP is their new approach. Unfortunately, with UWP, they really handicapped you. Uh, so while you could run it on this really nice dedicated console hardware, you didn't actually get full access to said hardware. In fact, you kind of got very restricted access, as you can see here. Maximum available memory in foreground was one gig. In the background was 128 megabytes. You shared between two to four GP, uh, sorry, CPUs, depending on how many apps were currently running. You got up to 45% of the GPU, which was probably the biggest killer right there. Um, and then on top of that, you were stuck with DirectX 11 level 10, so no DirectX 12 support. So these are some pretty big handicaps. Essentially, they turned an Xbox One into like somewhere between an Xbox and Xbox 360 level hardware. So kind of took away a lot of the appeal for developing for it. Well, the cool news is uh, Microsoft announced today that they are going to be updating it as part of the Universal Windows platform games with fall Xbox One update. I'm not sure the exact date this is coming, but it sounds like very soon considering, well, it is fall. Um, and they're going to be changing it so that you are going to have access to a lot more of the underlying hardware. Specifically, you go from that two to four shared to six exclusive cores. Now, this graph is not actually doing it justice. That is a huge jump because you're getting exclusive access to said cores. Uh, on top of that, you go from one gigabyte of RAM to five gigabytes of RAM. And probably the biggest deal um, difference between the two is that you now have full access to the underlying GPU, none of this 45% stuff, and you have access to DirectX. 12. So um, it's a pretty substantial upgrade. You could probably have two to three times more power available to you. Uh, so if you are looking at developing for the Xbox One console, like, you know, in an indie, um, you know, without requiring the full Xbox hardware SDK in order to develop for it, uh, it's a lot more you know, feasible now. Basically, the uh, the platform is a lot more like what the actual commercial uh, developers are dealing with when they're dealing with the Xbox One. Uh, I imagine that ultimately all your game engines are going to turn on and um, feature this almost overnight. So your uh, Unreal engines and Unity's etc. will probably have an update very soon to have access to a whole lot more resources there. So I'm not sure if you're interested in developing on the Xbox One, but if you are, this news should surely excite you. It, it's a uh, it's cool to see. They basically just made uh, Xbox One indie games first-class citizens. I will link this down below in the comments. Do let me know what you think of this. Any interest at all developing on the Xbox, especially as an indie or a hobbyist, or don't care? Um, you know, let me know um, in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, please do click like, do the subscribe thing and all that stuff. Uh, we'll see you all later. Have a good weekend. Bye.